Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I'm back with another episode. Today I wanted to show you how to add a background. Now typically I use Photoshop after I create my rendering and I'll add a background, but I just want to show you how you can do it in the render if you'd like to do so. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'll show you this website. Um, so this is HDRI Haven. Um, all of these these backgrounds and skies and everything is free. Um, so you can just go in here and search through what you want. And you got some outdoor stuff, you got some indoor, you got some nighttime, um, sunrise, sunset, mornings. Now let's just pick this first one, right? Just scroll down and and you just go ahead and click and download one. Um, let's just download this. And you save it. Right. All right. Once that's done, in your theater render window, um, you just go instead of it. It'll start off at camera. Just go over to environment, and in environment, select IBL tab. And once you have it downloaded, you want to go over to this folder here. In each in each category, illumination, background, reflection, and refraction, there's a folder. You just click on that browse folder, and you go to wherever it downloaded to. Usually, it's in your downloads. See here, and I have all these HDR files, and you just select your file. And I have I have one selected already. Okay, so you have illumination, you have background, reflection, and refraction. Okay, so here we're going to use background and illumination, and you can you can go through these um, I'm going to use spherical and I'm going to use center uh, you can just go through and see what what fits correctly with your image and just toy just play around with some different things and see what you get but um, without this this is the render we get you know you just get a dark background or you'll have your blue background whatever settings your sketchup is on so let's just go ahead and see what we got here okay so now we have our sky Put in here and like I said this is something that I probably would have done in Photoshop but you know get it done quicker or just to get familiar with the different tool panels in the render um, play around with this uh, if you haven't messed around with this yet toy around with it um, let's see what it does if we instead of center let's do spherical here and see what we get yeah, let's, let's try that one. Don't like that there. Yeah, let's fit. Let's see what fit does. Yeah, that's pretty decent also. So, you know, you just toy around with different images. Um, I suggest um, this website. Uh, I stumbled upon this website just looking around in the forums. Like I, I've said before, um, get familiar with with forums, the render forums, or if you're using any software, find a forum out there because it helps you. And uh, you'll see people talking about things that, hey, wow, that'll help my renders. Um, so like this is a good website. You just go to HDRIs and you know you scroll through and select what you want. You got skies here. Just pick what you want and you know, you can get a background. I had and added um, my Thea Render textures here already. Some wood here, some metal here. You know, added some texture there and some emitter there. You know, so yeah, just a quick tutorial, just a quick description of, you know, if you don't know, this is here. Um, you can add the backgrounds there. Uh, if you've been using Photoshop and if you I still kind of prefer Photoshop I, I, I just like to use Photoshop and I like to use different softwares for my renderings um, but hey this gets the job done so um, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it informative don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe thanks